cause I do it. I ain't seen it cause I flew it. The trap top is speaking. Beat up the block, I abuse it. Beat up the pot, stretch the work, no ruler. Uh, say I knew they were down. Can't hear they saying all the money I was counting. Now I'm back on the court, out Cali in the Audi. Tried to swim in my lane, they was going too slow, so I had to move around. Throwing dirt in my name, it won't stuck in my face because they know that I'm about it. I'm a real chopper, this is no capper. I was selling packs back in 06. Make it rain on these bitches. Nah, I'm just tripping. I'm not really chopping, I'm just in the hey. back because I really don't do shit. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all, that should be getting me hot, y'all. Let me stop playing. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Hardcore casual, clipping Lou back in the building. Um, hey, yo, hey, y'all, I was a little sick this week, and my sickle cell started fucking with me, yo, so I, I had to lay it down, take a break, let my body regenerate, I be working hard, y'all, it's hard out here with sickle cell working like I do, especially when it get hot out, so, but, uh, I'm all right, everything good, um, that's my boy Trap Swag again, that big whammy intro. Anyway, y'all, there's some good fights this weekend, man. Uh, the most notable would be the Jared Hurd. Uh, his name Carlos William. Man, that was an upset. Uh, that was a fight where everybody had Jared Hurd winning the fight. I mean, shit. Uh, bigger, stronger guy just usually rolls over his competition but this is boxing and any motherfucking thing can happen and the guy that went out there and that was the hungriest that wanted it more and he outboxed him and won <laughs> that brings me to the upcoming fight between Wilder and Brazil um Ah, man, you know what? I said I wasn't going to watch that fight because I just don't support the antics of De Deontay Wilder. And I'm not, <clears throat> I'm still not going to watch it. Not live anyway. I might catch it afterwards. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to do that fight. If y'all want me to do that fight, we'll do it live. Uh, we'll go live with it. Y'all let me know. <laughs> but, um, the thing is, man, like, when you fighting for something more than yourself, that's what brings that championship performance, that championship spirit out of somebody. And there were some statements Brazil made recently, man, and it, it just leads me to believe he's fighting for something more than himself, you know. When he said about the type of champion Wilder is, and, and he wasn't talking me, me, me. You know what I'm saying? He was saying, you know, the people don't like him no more. He's bad for boxing. You know, he, he doesn't like to face that in the image that that Wilder is uh, projecting. Uh, the, 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 the black guy, I think he's leaving on the sport. Anthony Joshua made some interesting comments about his health and hurting people and being hurt in the ring. And I believe he made those to provide a contrast and a, and a, and a counter narrative to the, the shit Deontay Wilder's talking about. Because, yeah, boxing is a brutal sport. You know, any fight, any combat sport is. But at the end of the day, man, I don't want to see nobody not go home to their, ch to their children in the same condition that they came into the ring in. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, with exception of maybe taking an ass whooping, you don't ever want to see nobody permanently hurt in the ring. And, um, so I, I, I you know, and that was a refresh, refreshing commentary by Joshua. I, or comments, remarks, whatever word you want to use, uh, they were refreshing to hear from the champ. And, you know, the champ just keeps letting you know why he's the champ. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like when you take on that mantle of being champ, you are no longer representing just yourself. That's why it's a rural title. 
you know, you got everybody, you got little kids looking up to you, to grown ass men looking up to you. And you got to be a leader at that point. You set the tone of what your championship reign is going to be like, you know. It's like, you know, it's, it's like a, uh, just like anything, like, just like, uh, uh, your reign, your, your, if you're a king, a president, whatever, it's like they leave their stamp on that office, you know what I'm saying? You know, you leave your stamp on that champ, on the championship, you know, you, you, you carry yourself as you, you know, you, you want your reign to reflect the type of person you are. You know what I'm saying? I think Joshua does very well at that. But anyway, uh, Thug Rose lost too this weekend, didn't she? Devastating body slam put her ass away. I like Thug Rose. But they, she got the shit slammed out of her. Um, yeah, so there is room for upset like Brazil, there's a lot he had to overcome, but the first thing you got to overcome is the mind. You know, he's got to believe he can do it, and he said something else that's interesting that I said in one of my previous videos. This is a college quarterback, so this guy's not dumb. You know, he knows what he's got to do, and he knows about following the game plan and, and, and carrying it out. You know what I'm saying? Um... And, you know, you got Jesse Vargas in this corner now. If uh, if he's smart and he game plans, I think he can, I, I really think he can beat Wilder. I think it'll be an uphill battle, but Wilder doesn't have a good chin. I don't think he can take too many hits from Brazil. Yeah, Brazil's slow. He's, he's very slow. But he can make up for that with good boxing, man. Good boxing can overcome a lot of a lot of uh physical attributes that you may have man um and that was proven this weekend with the uh with the uh jerry Heard fight man you know you got a guy that was smaller that was shorter you mean you know uh less not as physical as and he went and he out and really he kind of beat Jerry Hurd at his own game. He beat him on the inside. Beat him the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Dropped him. And once a fighter gets dropped, you know what I'm saying? It becomes a different fight. If Dominic Brazil gets in there and he lands a stiff one, say it don't knock Wilder out, but it, it drops him, right? Wilder is going to be a, you know... I mean, and especially if he gets hurt, like, really bad, you know what I'm saying? I mean, then it becomes a different fight, you know. Um, so it's going to be an uphill battle for, for, for Brazil, but I, I really like what he's saying. I like the fight that the fact that we hadn't heard anything from the man through this whole time. You know, he's just been preparing, you know, and I like that too, you know. And he says, you know, what he said about Wilder retiring, I would have to agree with. I don't think Wilder would be able to come back from a humiliating loss like that. And if he, because if Brazil does win, he should move right to undisputed. Fuck everything else. Move right to undisputed. Fuck fighting Tyson Fury. Fuck fighting D, uh, Dillian White because he can lose to any one of them guys. I would go straight for the money. He des he deserved it. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing, man. Like, cause Wilder fucked his bag up too when he when he took uh didn't take that fucking hundred million dollar. I mentioned that in another video. But uh I believe it was sports sporting icons or no, I think it was Kurt Counterpunch that reiterated it and he actually gave the the number at six million. I don't think I didn't give the number. I know it was thirty it's thirty percent, but yeah. I guess that would come out to around six six million that he fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Of of Dominic Brazil. Dominic is fighting for something, man. 
He knows this man turned down that huge payday. Shit, you don't you don't think he'll take it? And if a man is fighting for that, for uh, you know, I mean, for 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 legacy, for 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 generational wealth, you know, to to, to, to change his his family's lot in life, that's a lot for the to overcome. And and it's apparent that Wilder doesn't care nothing about those things. You know what I'm saying? So Wilder's only fighting for Wilder. And there's going to be a lot of pressure on Wilder to perform because he did turn down that money. And that shit's got to go into the ring with him, knowing that if he lose, not only do he lose the fight, he lose his opportunity to ever get paid like that again. Now, regardless how much faith he got in Al Heyman and, and, and his team and I don't even think it got anything to do with that. I think they said knowing it was just that. But let's play along and say Wilder was advised and it was his decision not to take that fight and that money. Then that's a decision he'll have to live with and that's going to be squarely on his shoulders. Now, let's say his team made a form once again. That's a decision he'll have to live with and that will be squarely on his shoulders. Cause that would mean that would be a betrayal, man. If he going in, he lose that fight. I mean, you gonna have to re reevaluate the whole last year of your life, you know, your whole career, man. And I really hope that shit happens, man. For real, it would be karma. It would be it would be coming, you know, karma coming right back around to bite him in the ass. And you know, so the pressure is gonna be on Wilder to perform more so than ever in his life. Like, he's hyping this damn Brazil, this, this Brazil fight up. Like, it's like a life-changing fight, you know, when, you know, like he forgot Josh was squashed this dude years ago. But Brazil's not going to be the same fighter from back then, you know, that he was, that he was when he fought Josh. But if any, if, if, hopefully he'll be a better fighter, you know, and he had to learn some things since then. And it, it, and look, he's a quarterback, and this is a quarterback that has to prepare for one thing. He just got to stop that right. Stop the right. Find out a way to stop this man from throwing that right on you before you get your shit off. For a quarterback, that should be a relatively easy game plan to follow. You know what I mean? Um... So it's just about if he do it, you know, he can't go in there blocking jabs with his face all night. He just can't, you know, but uh, maybe he can, man, but that right, he definitely got to stay away from that right. You know, if he can stay away from the right and frustrate Wilder and get him to open up, which is not hard at all, he, Wilder telegraphs his blows. And he leaves so many opportunities to get punched in the fucking face hard that a well-disciplined fighter can do it. You don't have to be the fastest. You don't have to be the strongest. You just got to be disciplined. And, um, you know, because we've seen a lot of fighters get Wilder a run, you know. So anyway, you know, I'm just going, that's all I got to say for now. I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to try to start getting, I'm feeling a lot better, guys, uh, and girls and shit. So I'm going to, you know, start getting back on my video shit again. I got to go get another phone today, probably. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, man. So that's it, man, for this one. Um, losing the building as usual. And we're going to see, y'all. Let, 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 let me know if y'all want to cover that fight live. It, it probably would be fun to cover it live, but... So y'all let me know in the comments, man. And, um, Hardcore Casual, I appreciate every, each and every one of y'all as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. One.